So, all right, so we're back in here. So we're back in here. Um, we were just talking about being a man when we first became a man. Mine was when my pubes were measured. Yours when I guess, I didn't really understand what you were saying. Voice. Yeah, his voice deepened. Uh, so I have Mark Curry here and Tyler Curry. So we have the Currys. Okay, Tyler Curry, up, I don't think he's been on the show before. This is his first time on the show. Really happy to have him. Uh, Thanks for having me. It's awesome. Dude, absolutely. So so we're talking about being men, okay? Because it's men... Best. It's the fucking best. Men these days are getting shit. A lot of shit. I've noticed. So, so we want to talk a little bit about when you first became a man and how you define that man. Well... I'd have to say, I was about 13 years old, I was watching Scooby-Doo, and I don't know why I was uh, jerking my gherkin to Scooby-Doo. There wasn't really anything sexual about it. Daphne? No, just Belmont. for the fuck of it. It was out, and I was just like, let's just, you know, let's just rub on this thing. And then, all of a sudden, it felt like I got struck by lightning, and everything changed in an instant, man. Out of nowhere, I ran to the bathroom, scared for my life, thought I broke my dick. <laughs> And, um, you know, it, I had like a sharp jolt in my spine and I jerked up and I was like, what the fuck? So I, I ran and I hid for a second and didn't know what to do because I didn't know what the fuck happened. Then after that, like next day I woke up, my balls were bigger, my chest was hairy, my face was hairy. It was like fucking Teen Wolf and became a man just like that by stirking McGurkin to fucking uh, Scooby-Doo, Scooby -Doo, yeah. So it's like... Just happened like that. Somehow things just kind of aligned for you. Yeah, I kind of like a release of testosterone, you know, through my uh, my dick. It could have had something to do with the... I think Scooby-Doo has a big Probably. part Probably. There's spots on me now, like Scooby-Doo. Like a dog. Kind of, yeah. So that, that goes... I want to go into this part now. So... So men have spots and dogs. Yeah. Very similar. Definitely. When you say Nine even lives. a man to a female dog. Yeah. So what I'm saying is sometimes I shave, you know, Your belly everything. My, well, my stomach, my chest. Yeah. You know, I feel more of a man when I'm shaved down. Me too. Is and that oiled strange? up and wrestling another man. Yeah. I feel very manly when I'm uh, shaved. The manliest thing up. you could do would be wrestling another man. Wrestling another man naked. Right? Yeah. So big time. Love that. I kind of have a dog penis. Straight. Yeah. Where where the hair grows all the way to the tip. It's red too, right? Well, not not unless it's it's exposed. I get, it's I get it. Exposed. Yeah. yeah. I understand. It comes out of the hair <laughs> sheath. Yeah. And oh and, yeah. Right. Yep. So the that's when. Sheath. Thank you, brother. Thank you. That's really when. That's like that's really. Sheath. Do a lot of guys have a dog penis like that? Sometimes I hear. If you're not circumcised, you have a dog's penis. Right, with the hair all over yeah, the edges. Yeah, all over the hair. I like and, that. Um, you know, similar to an anteater's nose, how it picks up ants, the same with an uncircumcised penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like... It's very hairy, and it eats a lot of ants. In the circumcision, you lose that... Ability to grab the ants. So therefore, you have to manually stimulate yourself all the time in order because you're not getting the same nutrients as you would if you were eating the ants right 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 that's yeah. a good point so being a man is about eating ants okay having yeah. that penis big that time, circumcised uncircumcised that hair sheath hair okay sheath. that hair sheath allows you to eat ants and really become the man you are meant to be yeah okay so when you're circumcising your kid you're doing them a disservice because then they have to take time out of their day it's like a ritual to manually build up their manliness you know you have to work on it like working out any muscle because it's a muscle right hair sheath muscle it is a muscle and you got to exercise Come on in here, Jared. We're talking about just kind of being men. Jared, you know about circumcision. I mean, not recently. You've heard about it in the practice. Actually, the last the one, the last one I was a part of was uh, three years ago. Damn. Yeah. And what was tell, that like? Tell us oh, about I don't know. that. The doctor did it. Yeah, why were you a part of this? Because what know. part of it were you? Malcolm. Oh, you got to watch his penis come off. I did. Yeah. That was a wonderful experience. Did so he has a it? son. He has a son. Oh yeah. Did you keep that? Did you keep it? No. I don't think so. Not Why even not? A souvenir? Uh, 
it's not necessary. What if you wanted it back later? I'm they sure dispose we have of it. the technology now of it. to rebuild it. Wow. Make it stronger. Ah, so you gave it to the rabbi for DNA cloning. No. Yeah, come on in here a little bit. For cloning? Come in here a little bit. You're cloning your son in case of something happens. I'm what? What? Maybe. Air sheet. We'll see. Okay. Ahead, so, so I got a couple more questions about this. So men are getting really bad. What is it, rap? Yeah. Men are getting a bad rap right now. Um, but I don't understand why we have to be so suppressed at this day and age. Okay. So I have some statistics here. Men, men, uh, men, men t are typically paid less yeah, than no women. Design. Than women. They get, they get, they get. The, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's a statistic. You hear that all the time. Men are paid Bula. less. Bula. Bula. Men are paid less than women. We need to work on equal rights, also. Men are men are more likely to be laid off, and they're less likely to be hired. Our so, tits aren't as big. That's uh, it's, it's a fair point, actually. Yeah. So, it's what do you think point. of that? What do you think about Our being? Tits are not as big. That's oh, true. Yeah. Um. That's not exactly 100% true though. Men can have large tits. Yeah. I don't disagree with you. Sometimes we don't have average. as many fingers to work with. And they're not as dexterous because, you know, females have more dexterity in their fingers. Is that is true? Yeah, which is it's very important in the job field. Well, so that must be, that's, that would make a much better worker then, right? Is I that, think so. So it's because it's a physical thing. Women get hired more than men because it's a physical thing. Right. They have more, they're they have more, more desirable. Physical, they have more physically rigorous jobs. Women do. Women. women have more physically rig, rigorous jobs. They're more dexterous with the fingers. Yeah. They're, they're better at a lot of things. And that's Many why things. most things. men are getting shit canned. Yeah, okay. I hear uh, all over the world. I hear we're in a decline also, like population wise. They're outnumbering us two to one now, which is crazy. So all the more reason for you to support this podcast, get out there, show people this, support your fellow man. I We're not making these numbers up. This is true, true life here, true facts. We're not making these numbers up. 